Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is lesson three. It's called Order of Operations. Many of you have already worked on this, so hopefully it's, it goes fast for you. Hey, in the last lesson, I, I emphasized the importance of knowing your multiplication tables. I, I'm telling you, for the rest of your math life, you guys, you'll be doing these numbers. So it'll make your whole math career much easier. I'm telling you, much easier if you just know your multiplication table. So some of you guys, many of you guys already know that, and that's good. But if you don't, please work on that if you want to be you know, successful and make math uh, easy as you go through high school. So anyway, this whole lesson is built off of those numbers right there. So anyway, um, a numerical expression is an expression that contains only numbers and operations like 5 plus 2 or 55 divided by 11, something like that. And those are off that uh, uh, table that we just did. Equations that are what we're going to work with later has numerical expressions in them. Uh, but involve an equal sign. So um, that's what an equation is. And so uh, we evaluate the numerical expressions and we solve equations. Again, solving equations is a later lesson. It's not today. It's not in today's lesson. We're going to evaluate numerical expressions. So to evaluate our numerical expressions, uh, we must use a set of rules that's called the order of operations. And these are the steps we have to do these so we all can get the same answer, hopefully anyway. So first step, if you have any parentheses, you got to simplify the stuff in the parentheses first. Then you got to evaluate anything that has an exponent, a power, like four to the third power or something like that. You got to do that after you do the parentheses. After you've cleaned up parentheses and exponents, then we do multiplying or dividing from left to right. It doesn't matter if division comes first before multiply. We just make sure you do it from left to right. So it could be multiply or divide, or it could be division or multiplication, whatever comes first when you're going from left to right. And then finally, we do all the addition and subtraction again from left to right. That's the final step right here. So, so you might have heard of PEMDAS, you guys. So PEMDAS stands for parentheses, exponents, multiply and divide, add and subtract, okay? And there's an old phrase I grew up with. It's called, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. The P stands for parentheses, the E stands for the exponents, the MD stands for multiply, divide, and the addition, subtraction is the AS right there. Okay, all right, so let's try some of these right here. So here's the order of operations right here. So PEMDAS, are there any parentheses? No, there's no exponent. So the only thing, we're going to jump right down to the multiply. So we're going to multiply 2 times 4 first. So 2 times 4 gets us 8. Okay, and then now we can do the subtraction. Now do this. We always do subtraction or addition after the multiplying. So if there's a multiply, you got to do that first. Then we do 12 minus 8. 12 minus 8 is 4. Okay, all right. Now here, here's some parentheses. So we got to do this stuff in the parentheses first. 3 times 5. 3 times 5 is 15. So I'm going to change this to 15. Okay, so there we did the parentheses. There's no exponent, so we can skip this step. There's no multiplying, but there is division. So we're going to divide right here. 60 divided by 15. I know 30 divided by 15 is 2. So 60 divided by 15 is, is double that. So it's 4. Okay, so we divided 60 divided by 15. So this part gave me this right here. Okay, and then we can go ahead and add 7 plus 4. 7 plus 4 gets us that 11 right there. Okay, we're not done. Here we go. All right, so that's where that multiplication table comes in, you guys. Again, it'll, I mean, if you just start on it right now, the rest of this year will be great to the multiplication table, and next year, and next year. So, um, uh, it, I mean, multiplying won't go away from you. So, all right, I'll stop. Okay, I do have parentheses here. Inside the parentheses, I have to do this exponent because in the parentheses, there's more order of operations, which means do that exponent first. So we're going to evaluate 2 to the third. 2 to the third is 2 times 2 times 2. I'm holding up three fingers on my hand, and I'm going to think of them as 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So 2 to the third is 8. Okay, then we still have parentheses, so now we're going to do 7 plus 8. So 7 plus 8 is 15. Now we do... Remember, um, the multiplier divide could be divide or multiply. We just go from left to right. So start here and start going this way. So we'll do this first. 
30 divided by 15 is 2. Okay, then, so this changes, this blue stuff changes to that 2 right there. And then we have to finally, we do 2 times 6 gets us 12 right there. So that comes out to be 12. Okay, I remember teaching this, and my students would say, this is easy. And they would rip through the assignment and get it done within a few minutes and, and not get hardly any of them right because they're not doing the order of operation. So, so just uh, remember, slow down. And remember, you guys, uh, you, can, you can do multiply and divide, or you can do divide and multiply. So right here, that's what I'm talking about right here. Just because division comes before here, we don't do this multiply first. We got to do this first. Okay, if we multiplied these guys first and then did division, it wouldn't be 12. It'd be some decimal. Okay, because 15 times 6 is 90 and 30 divided by 90 is 0.33333. So, so it's a whole different answer right there. So we have to do this division first and then whatever that is. So 30 divided by 15 was that 2 and then, then multiply it by 6 at the end right there. All right, here's some more. Okay, so here I'm going to do the multiplication first. 7 times 5 is 35. And then go ahead and add 35 and 3 is 38. Here, let's do the parentheses. So 28 minus 20 is 8. Okay, and then we can divide at the end. 8 divided by 4 is 2. Okay, over here, I see a multiply. I see a division. So I'm going to do this first. 6 times 15. I know uh, 3 times 15 is 45. So 6 times 15 would be double that. So it would be 90. Okay, so I just did this first, then I got to do this division second, so 10 divided by 2 right here, we got to do this next, because that comes, adding and subtracting comes at the very end, so I'm not going to do that just yet, 10 divided by 2 is 5, and then 90 minus 5 is 85. Okay, over here, we got to do this exponent, 2 to the 4th, so I'll do that up here, 2 to the 4th is 2, 2, 2, 2. So 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16. So I'm going to change this to 16 right there. Then I go ahead and add from left to right, add and subtract. 6 plus 16 is uh, 22, and then finally we can do 22 minus 1 right there, we get 21. Okay, over here, we've got to do this exponent first. 3 to the second is 3 times 3, or 9. And then we've got to do this multiplication. Second, 4 times 9 is 36. That's off that multiplication table. All right, then we do uh, adding and subtracting from left to right. So I'm going to do 36 plus 18. Well, I know 36 plus 20 is 56. So take away 2, because 18 is 2 off of that. That's going to get me 54. So when I add those, that's 54. 54 minus 9 is going to get me 45. Okay, over here, got some parentheses, and the parentheses have this exponent, 5 squared is 25. Then we do 25 minus 7 is 18. Then we do 18 divided by 3 is 6, and then 6 plus 16 is 22. Okay, all right, so it's all um, just make sure you follow the order of operations and, um, and you should be good. Okay, so here's some symbols that we use for multiplication, the X or the dot, but we can also use parentheses for multiplication. So for example, three parentheses seven or two plus seven, there's a multiply sign there. So it's the same as three times two plus seven. Okay, so we can use parentheses to show multiplication. So here's some parentheses right here. So let's go ahead and do this first. 5 minus 2 is uh, 3. And then now we go ahead and multiply 7 times 3. 7 times 3 is 21. And then go ahead and add 9 plus 21 is 30. Okay, all right, parentheses first. Let's do these parentheses. So 6 plus 1 is 7. Okay, and then we do the exponent next. So 2 squared is 2 times 2, or 4. And then we do multiplication first. Let's do this 4 times 7 is 28. So it's going to be 15 minus 28 right there divided by 4. Okay, all I did is I did that. Now I do, I don't do that yet. I do this because uh, division comes before adding and subtracting. So 28 divided by 4 is 7. So I get 15 minus 7. Finally, we can subtract. We get 8. All right, one more piece, you guys. Okay, so this says we're going to buy foam spheres. So we're going to go to a, a hobby store like Michael's or Joann's or something like that. So we buy foam spheres. 
Um, so it looks like we're buying nine spheres and they cost two dollars each and we buy wooden wooden rods so here's eight rods and they're one dollar each and um, uh, what else are we buying uh, paint I'm sorry paint bottle so we're doing uh, six paint bottles at three dollars each so this says what's the total cost so it's going to be the cost of these nine spheres it's going to be the cost of these uh, six paint bottles and the cost of these eight rods. Okay, so the cost of the nine spheres are $2 each. It's going to be nine times two. This is going to be six times three. This is going to be eight times one. So that's what goes right there. Okay, nine times two is 18. Six times three again is 18. Eight times one is eight. And then we go ahead and add these. These are 36. 30, 18 and 18 are 36. Or you can think of 10 and 10 and 8 and 8. Well, 8 and 8 are 16, and 10 and 10 gets me uh, 26, 36. So anyway, whatever. 36 plus 8 gets me 44. So the total cost is going to be 44 bucks. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense. I hope you're having a great year so far. Take care.